Today I'm going to show you how to run an effective Articles Plus search at UB. Many people look on the Articles Plus system as inferior to other search methods, and when used improperly, this is the case. However, as with any other tool, Articles Plus must be used correctly to gain the desired result. Once mastered, you will find that this is an easy and efficient method of searching many databases at once. Start out on the library's homepage at library.buffalo.edu. There are a few ways to access Articles Plus. One is to hold the mouse over the Find Library Materials button and choose Articles Plus from the drop-down menu that appears. The other is to click on the Articles Plus tab and then on the link below the search box. Once on this screen, a search can be run. But to truly get the desired results, it's best to go right to the Advanced Search tab. Here you have all you need to run an effective Boolean search of not just one, but hundreds of databases at once. You may type whatever information you have into the various boxes. People's names, places, topics, or whatever other information you might have. If you need the articles to be from a certain year, enter it into the year box below. If you enter more than one search term, select the Boolean search term you need. And, or, and not. You must enter something into at least one of the search boxes, and you must check off any of the areas of study that may apply. You may also choose Select All or Quick Search, though I do not recommend Quick Search option, as many results are left out. Select All can bring up information that is irrelevant, and so it is a good idea to try to make specific selections. Let's try a simple search. As an example, let's say we're looking for information about the philosopher and mathematician Bertrand Russell. I can type his name into the search box. I'll leave it as the title search, for now, and leave out the date, since I don't have any preference for the year of publication. For the subject areas, I will select General, History and Archaeology, Language and Literature, Law, Politics and Government, Philosophy and Religion, and Physical Sciences and Mathematics, to get a broad scope and click search. The more databases it searches, the longer it takes to bring up your results, which is another reason to specify your subject areas instead of selecting all. This search has brought up 3,120 results that include the name Bertrand Russell in their title, with 318 of them available. These results can be sorted by source, author, title, or by the default date. A list of over 300 articles is a little much to search through, but at the upper right corner of the results page, we find two filters, full text and peer reviewed. When starting out, it is a good idea to leave the full text box unchecked so that you can see all of the relevant titles and not just the ones that are scanned online. Peer reviewed, however, can be a great filter to use when you are working on an academic or professional project and need to ensure that your sources are legitimate. Along the right side of the list are other filters which can be used to narrow and sort your search further. They will not be covered in this tutorial other than to say that you should experiment with them if you find yourself sifting through a large number of results. After checking the peer-reviewed box, we find that the results have been reduced to 80, which is a reasonable number to look through. However, let's say we wanted to get more specific about our topic. Click on Refine Search in the upper left corner of the page to return to the search screen. All of the information is right where we left it. This time, let's add another search term to the next box down. Let's say that we are looking for his views and works on war. Simply type war into the next search box. For now, we will leave it as a title search as well, and see how many results we get. 65 articles come up. 17 of them are peer-reviewed. This is a decent amount, but we may need other articles as well, so let's refine the search again. This time we will change how Articles Plus will search for the word war. From the drop-down menu, we have several choices. The default is title, so that it will look for the search term that you entered in only the titles of the articles. Next is author, which is very helpful if you need an article written by a specific person. Then there is full text which will search all of the available text of all of the articles for your search term. Under that is Keyword, which will search lists of keywords that the article's authors have provided. Next is the Subject Search, which will search the subject terms that the authors provide with their articles. After that is an Abstract Search, which will look for your search terms in the text of the abstracts for the articles. 
You can also search by ISBN or ISSN number if you have them. Finally, you may choose any, which will look for your search term in any and every field it can. I will choose keyword to see how this changes the results. This time we have 140 results, which can be peer review filtered down to 37. Just to see what happens, let's change the search type again. This time we will change the first search box to full text. Now we get just over 300 articles, 50 of them peer reviewed. To narrow it down even further, let's go back and uncheck the languages and literature and physical sciences and mathematics boxes and run the search again. This brings it down to just 217 with 47 peer reviewed. In this fashion, adding and removing search terms, checking and unchecking subject boxes, and running different types of search combinations, one can find many relevant articles, peer reviewed and not, which you have access to as a UB student. Happy searching!